Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up tickets for Cobot. First of all, go to your configuration file and head over to line 235, give or take 5 or 10 lines. Now as you can see, tickets, limit per user. So this is how many tickets one person, person can open. I recommend setting this to 1 if it's just a normal server, but if you expect to open multiple tickets with different issues, maybe leave it at 5 or 3 or something around those lines. Require reason. Whenever you do dash new, require them to have a reason. So dash new, I need help. Then they can open a ticket. Ping support. You can either disable this so the support members do not get pinged, or you can leave it to true and the your staff team will get pinged. Ping support and ping user. Upon opening a ticket, this will ping the staff team if you have ping support enabled to true or you have ping user equal to true this will ping the user as soon as they open the ticket DM closure reason if your ticket gets closed this will DM you the reason if you set it to true close ticket conf confirmation and close all config confirmation this allows you to dash close without saying yes I want to close it so if I leave it a false and then I use dash close all to show you what the difference is creation channel you can change this to dash tickets if you only want tickets to be opened in one channel I don't so I'm going to leave it as false support role my support role in my discord server is staff so I'm going to leave it as that support role my support role is staff so I'm going to reset the bot now I'm going to head over to the bot commands and type dash new. As you see, I was pinged, pinged at Cobot Tutorials, and it tried to ping in add staff, but I don't have the role add staff, so it's not going to do anything. Then I can respond in this ticket like, hey, I can add people, I can remove people. What the fuck is it? I can add people, I can remove people, I can rename the ticket, rename hello, the ticket is now called hello. This is useful if you have Minecraft faction server or Skyblock server where you have to give up rewards. You can just rename the ticket so you can go find it later whenever you're about to release to give up the invite rewards or whatever. Now if I give myself staff terms. Staff. Now, if I do that close, it's gonna close instantly, and it ha the, it has DM me with the tran transcript and the ticket ID, and the reason, reason none. If we go to ticket logs, I can view this. Now, if I go to ticket logs and download the transcript. Go back to Chrome, open a new tab, and paste it in. As you can see, it's the entire ticket transcript. This can be useful if you have MC Market and you need to verify that the user was breaking your terms of service, or didn't contact you at all, or just to verify your point. As I've given myself staff terms now, if I invite my second account to the Discord, if I create a new channel, a new ticket, it has pinged the staff, me, it's also pinged me, the user, at loud. Hello world, do dash close, not needed, dash close not needed, it has DM me, 